Who says love at first sight doesn't exist? It's not every day you come across a love story so beautiful and touching that it feels like someone's narrating a movie script. Turns out, Argentina's shining glory Lionel Messi's love story is super filmy. At just the age of nine, he has found the love of his life. From the moment he saw her, he knew they shared special chemistry, saying to his self, she will be my wife. Many believed that when you are professional footballer, a game that extends into the zone of celebrity, wealth, and yes, relationships, you will have an abundant of option and high level of classical girls to choose from because it holds an undeniable allure. It's not just about the game itself, it's about the lifestyle that comes with it. Marrying an old friend is not something that is usually seen, more especially your childhood friend, someone who has known you for decades, seen you at your worst, and yet loves you even more. This is priceless. Lionel Messi and Antonella Rocuzzo experienced it. This is a love story worth telling. The relationship between them is proof that true love exists. In this video, we look at how their relationship evolved over the years, surviving distance, and the tragedy that brought them back together. Stay tuned as we go on this amazing and captivating story of how a nine years old fell in love at first sight. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notifications bell for videos like this every Friday. Thank you. Lionel Messi and Antonella Rocuzzo met when they were kids, thanks to Lucas Scaglia. Lucas and Lionel were players at Newell's Old Boys Football Academy and became close friends. Antonella was Lucas Scaglia's cousin. She was born on the 26th of February, 1988 in Rosario, Argentina, to a businessman and a homemaker. She grew up alongside two sisters, Carla and Paula. While Messi was born a year early, the Barcelona superstar met Antonella while hanging out with Lucas. The kids were playing Sony games at Lucas's home. After their first meeting, Messi started spending a lot of time with Lucas so he could get closer to Antonella. The first time they met was when he was nine and she was eight. It happened to be at Lucas Scaglia's house. Who is she? Messi began to stammer. Antonella, my cousin, his friend replied. For Leo, it was the toughest Gambita, the impossible goal, the most complicated final. She became his first love, also in his first defeat. Antonella did not want to know anything about being girlfriend. Their first relationship was friendship. Yes, friends from the neighborhood, friends of Rosario, they were just kids. Trainer Enrique Dominguez found Lucas's father. Why is Messi standing there? He asked. He is waiting for us to leave because he wants to come to our house. Lucas's father replied loudly. He often goes to your home. Why is it so anxious now? Enrique Dominguez asked. Because the weekend is coming. Lucas's cousin Antonella is coming. Messi likes her, Lucas's father said. Leo Messi soon worshipped under the pomegranate skirt of Antonella Rocuzzo. Messi often writes to her, and he told her that when they grow up, she will be his wife. When he was 11 years old, Messi received devastating news. He was diagnosed with a growth hormone disorder, something that put his dreams of becoming a professional soccer player at risk. His father, Jorge Messi, did everything he could to get a team to sign Messi and to pay for his medical treatment. Leo left to Spain to follow his dreams, being signed by the children's division of FC Barcelona. After that, the relationship between Messi and Antonella stayed for a while. They tried to stay in touch, but because the contact tools were not so convenient and the communication was not smooth, the contact between the two became less and less. When Messi moved to Europe in order to pursue his soccer career, both him and Antonella thought that their relationship was over, nothing more than a beautiful memory. Over the years, Messi earned status in the club, quickly growing into one of the most emblematic figures in soccer history. Still, he couldn't help but think about Antonella, who was still in Rosario. In 2005, when Rakuzzo's best friend, Ursula Knotts, died at the exit of a bowling alley, when being run over by a boy who drove drunk. Antonella was 17 years old and had a very bad time. She spent several days without going to school. As nature will have it, it just coincided with one of Leo's trips to Argentina, and, as soon as he discovered the news, he ran to comfort her and be at her side. 
In 2019, Rokutso paid tribute to her late friend in a series of Instagram stories to raise awareness about traffic accidents in Rosario. Absences are felt in everyday life, on birthdays, on anniversaries, at parties. Absences are disturbing, she wrote in Spanish. Messi had already made debut in the first team of Barcelona. Antonella was already in relationship with another guy. It was a sincere friendship, though there was something that had never been quenched. She decides to cut off her three-year relationship with the other boy, and the dialogue with Leo began to be more fluid. And suddenly, love again bloomed. It was authentic, it was reciprocal, but it was also in the distance. They continued to date in secret for few years. It was not until he had turned 21 years old that the relationship became known. It was on the program Hat Trick Barca of the Catalan channel TV3A in January 2009. They asked him, do you have a girlfriend? And Leo Messi replied, yes, I have a girlfriend. She is in Argentina. The truth is that I am well and I am relaxed. From that moment, Antonella Rocuzzo, who always had a close relationship with Leo, was linked to the life of Messi. Antonella's friends say that she revealed her relationship with Messi to them on July 20, 2007. Despite this, the confirmation that the relationship was established happened before the 2010 World Cup in South Africa. She finally leaves her old life behind in order to move to Spain and live with Messi. Antonella moved to Messi's house in Castel Defels, Barcelona, marking their start of their life as a couple. In June of 2012, they announced that they were expecting their first child together. On November 2, 2012, Tiago Messi was born. As Messi's career grew, so did his family. On September 11, 2015, Matteo, their second son, was born. On June 30, 2017, the couple got married, having a beautiful wedding in their hometown of Rosario. At the City Center Hotel, with over 260 guests, among them were soccer stars like Gerard Peak, Neymar, Sergio Aguero, Samuel Eto'o, Carlos Puyol, Xavi Hernandez, and more. After they got married on March 11, 2018, their third son, Ciro, was born. It is evident that the lives of Leo Messi and Antonella Rocuzzo were destined to be one great love story. Messi is very satisfied with his marriage life. Antonella is the luckiest girl in the world because she married her childhood sweetheart. Obviously, the love story of Messi and Antonella is destined to be a great story. Messi knows that he loves her, and Antonella has enough patience to wait for him to realize his dreams, and then to marry her. My wife Antonella has lots of great qualities, Messi once told FC Barcelona. I really admire how she deals with the day-to-day. She is always in a good mood, and she approaches problems admirably. She is highly intelligent and well-rounded in all aspects of life. Lionel and Antonella's love story is beautiful and unique. They've been together for most of their lives and have faced adversity and come out stronger for it. Anytime Messi faces a tough and complex situation on a professional level, surely Antonella is there to provide him with all the support he needs. Rakuzo is also extremely supportive of Messi's career. The model regularly cheers on her husband during his soccer matches, including on December 13, 2022, when she celebrated Messi and the Argentina national football team making the World Cup final with an Instagram post. Just a few days later, Rakuzo and her three sons were also in the stands to watch Messi win the 2022 World Cup. They continue to stay madly, deeply in love, and are a great source of inspiration for the younglings out there who feel true love doesn't exist. We might not be able to have a childhood sweetheart like Messi, but a man can hope to find a love who loves you like Antonella, right? We wish their families becomes better and better and hope that they will live happily ever after. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for weekly video. Thank you.